Hey, how's it going, guys? Thanks for stopping by, checking out my videos. If you like my videos, please like, comment, and share. Uh, today, we're going to be going over a topic that I'm asked quite often, probably two to three times a day from different customers. So, here we go. What is the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz? And when should you use 2.4 gigahertz versus 5 gigahertz? All right, well, the difference between 2.4 and 5 is literally the name itself 2.5 gigahertz versus 5 gigahertz. They're different frequency ranges. So, is there an advantage using one or the other? Yes. 2.4 gigahertz is always going to have a farther range in your home. However, 5 gigahertz is capable of a faster connection than a 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so. What is the typical connection speed that you'd get on a 2.4 gigahertz? Probably between 24 megs up to 89 megs. Don't expect anything over 89 megs on a 2.4 gigahertz connection. So what is a typical connection speed on a 5 gigahertz? I'd say probably anywhere between 30 megs to about 225, 236, probably 235 wireless in a 5 gigahertz is pushing it. 217 is probably max, 211 is what you'd get. Okay, but then again, that really depends on what connection speed you have available to you. And those uh, speeds would be, you know, depending on optimal conditions, signal strength, things like that. So you'd have to have a good signal and a good wireless card. Just because you can connect at 5 gigahertz doesn't mean you have a good card. You know, I have customers that go to their home and we run a bandwidth test. They're connected to 5 gigahertz and they get they get 89 megs. And I pull out my laptop and I run a wireless connection on 5 gigahertz and I pull 217. So it really depends on the actual wireless card itself. But you know that the technology itself is capable. So if you have great signal and your service speed, your connection speed sucks, it's probably your card. Yeah, so just upgrade it. Very cheap upgrade. So what I suggest, some people ask me again, you know, when should I use 2.4 gigahertz versus 5 gigahertz? And should I use one versus the other? And I say use them both. So if you're in your home, do a search for your Wi-Fi connection. You see the 2.4 gigahertz, connect to it. You see the wi uh, the 5 gigahertz connection, connect to it. Okay, so by default, you're going to want to use the 5 gigahertz. Now, if you did a search for that wireless connection and you only saw 2.4 and you cannot see 5 gigahertz, then that more than likely means that that particular wireless card, whether it be in a tablet, laptop, cell phone, whatever, it's an older device, it's not capable of connecting at 5 gigahertz. Now, if you do see them both, the reason I'm telling you to connect to both of them is this. Once you connect it to 2.4 first, then you connect it to 5 gigahertz second, it now has both ne uh, networks passwords saved. Okay, so let's just say you're within range of the 5 gigahertz connection. You obviously want to use 5 gigahertz because it's a faster connection. But let's just say you went outside or you went to the ex opposite side of the house and you lost your 5 gigahertz connection. Then by default, it would jump to the 2.4, still leaving you with a Wi-Fi connection. So that's why you want to connect to them both. So... That's it, people. Uh, not too complicated. Okay, so occasionally I do have those customers that said, Rick, you know what, I listened to you. I understand what you were saying. You know what, I had an, an older laptop that had an older wireless card, so I got a new wireless card. Or I had a really old wireless router, and, you know, I went and bought the Nighthawk, and, you know, I'm just really disappointed in the range that my new wireless router is getting. Or I'm really disappointed in the speed that my new wireless card you know is giving me and is there any way that I can tweak my router for better performance or is there any way that I could tweak my computer or my wireless card to get for better performance or better range or is there any way or possibility that anything is interfering uh, with my connection that could be causing a problem and yes 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 and yes to all above those questions and the thing is that 2.4 is an older technology so the chances are that uh, other devices in your home, a microwave, a cordless phone, a baby monitor, a garage door opener, or any one of your neighbors with a uh, with a wireless router could be interfering with you within the 2.4 gigahertz range. So uh, is there an option to move to a different channel so that you didn't have, um, you know, interference? Yes. Okay, but the thing is, with the 2.4 gigahertz, it, most of them, they only have like three to four uh, three different actual ranges, different channels that you can go on. When a 5 gigahertz, you'd have 23 different channels that you can go on. So in a different video, I'll actually walk you through on a wireless router, how to adjust the frequency ranges on your router, how to run a spectrum analyzer to see if anything is interfering in your home, uh, whether it be a neighbor or something within your home, you know, and how to adjust that. So to make a long story short, 
Yes, 5 gigahertz is faster. 2.4 does have a farther range. If range is important to you, you know, you're going to want to stay on that 2.4. If speed is important to you, you're going to want to do the 5 gigahertz and jump to the 2.4 uh, gigahertz when, you know, when need, needed. Um, and if you're just having real shoddy uh, internet connections or slow connection speed and you know you have a good wireless card and you know you have a good wireless router, chances are something in your house or one of your neighbors is interfering with you. So you will have to tweak your card or tweak your wireless router uh, to jump on a different frequency range. So you'll still be, let's say, in a 2.4 gigahertz range. You'll just be on a different channel or you'll be within a 5 gigahertz range, but you'll be on a different channel. And that can drastically help. Uh, because most people by default are uh, leaving the channel uh, set to the manufacturer. So, you know, Netgear, Linksys, uh, D-Link, uh, <laughs> those are very common. So your neighbor may have the same exact brand and lo and behold, you're on the same channel button heads with each other. So like I said, just some solid advice on which one to use and why you'd use it. But, you know, if you think you need some further diagnosis or some tweaking you know check uh, I will post a link in this description later when I actually do a video in showing how to run a spectrum analyzer test to see those if anything's interfering or see what is what other actual frequencies are within range that could possibly be interfering and how to actually adjust uh, your wireless uh, router to a different frequency range to give you better optimal uh, range and speed so thanks again for watching so checking out my videos um, God bless. Have a good day. Please like, comment, and share, 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 share. I'm really pushing this channel this year, so to try to really make it something. So uh, thanks a lot. Peace.